to Local Distortion. On this podcast, I'll be talking to the best up-and-coming independent artists and bands. I am your host, Daniel Kirk. My guests this week are False Hearts. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in podcast form this time. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Last time we did a 20-minute interview video. It was about it was about 20 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. About that, yeah. When we were talking about Cynical Love, ironically, know, which yeah. was a year ago Can't this month. That. That's crazy, That's cra- isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Too long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. too long. <laughs> yeah, but it still feels fresh. And I'd, I'd say s- still pretty current, you know, pretty relevant in uh, getting played still a lot. Yeah, it's yeah, it's done yeah. lots of favours for us and we still submit it and send it across where we can and use it for applications. So it's still going. I think it can still do well after the new stuff comes out as well yeah and that's that's testament to how good the song is that it's obviously yeah. carried itself this long without you guys like having to keep saying oh by the way <laughs> yeah exactly you should probably listen to this well done guys thank, thank you very much. not every band can do that have a song that can stay relevant for that amount of time no, with enough Facebook ads, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you, but obviously you guys haven't had to do that, which is yeah, well, good. Yeah. You've beat the system. <laughs> You've beat this, the Facebook boost system. Mm. We're glad it's had its well as we thought it would. Like when it, when we wrote it, we just thought that's the track, that's the standout track, mm. that's going to do us favors. We hope everyone's going to like it as much, and yeah, everyone, no bad comments about it. So. Oh, bad yeah. I was quite surprised actually because like, <laughs> obviously we released um... I'm not surprised though <laughs> well, no, yeah. Yeah, no, we sent um, Breakout um, recently to radio stations and things like that obviously yourself as well And but Cynical Love was still getting played like I think the week before for mm. that yeah. around yeah. as well yeah exactly like, that's that's totally what I mean yeah, like, it's, you, mad. it's still popping up here and there getting played so, it's great days. it's yeah. a great song Always... well, thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> the simple songs just do so well in some cases. Well, I wouldn't say yeah. it's, I wouldn't say simple, but I think it just ticks all the boxes yeah. that you kind of want for a single. Yeah. yeah, I think Dream On was our simple, really like basic song when it comes to mm. like structure and everything. That was the really uh, simple and effective one. Yeah, Cynical Love is a little bit more complex to it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in the sense of it, but yeah, it's still generally just hard hitting and yeah, quite impactful. I think is the. Easy song. to play live. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you That's do? Just, just write easy songs <laughs> no, no, for yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't no, have to no, think no. about it. It's like, no, Ali, do you want to put a solo in it? No. Oh, yeah, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. Got time for that. That was, that was genuinely one of the reasons that I liked that riff so much was yeah. I knew it was going to be one that was going to be easy to play live and I knew it was going to be just loud. Easy and <laughs> easy, easy for you to play. No, like. no, Have you no. ever done a reverse snare? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, Why don't you all swap instruments yeah. and then we'll see yeah, how yeah. easy it is? Yeah. You, you can you sing it. Clearly, not seen me on the guitar. <laughs> it's really not that hard, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. It makes the fact that I'm rubbish even worse. <laughs> I think we need to see this. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, yeah. Let's, let's all swing. Yeah, yeah we've got to do that, actually. In, yeah, instead of yeah. a live session, next time you've got to do yeah. an instrument swap. Yeah. yeah. That's your new feature on your yeah. podcast. But, no, but the thing is, it's going to be bands that are probably actually going to be really, really good. Really good. Bands. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you seen Phil Haynes on drums? No. He's so good. He literally what? jumped on and like completely wiped the floor of me. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hate that I love you so much. But he's annoyingly good at everything. Yeah, he really is. He can is. play bass as well. Yeah, he? well, so, no, he does on a couple of songs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I hate Don't you just hate those people? <laughs> yeah. You can pick up anything. I love him, like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, look at me. Yeah. Play this. <laughs> I can barely play one instrument. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't think, because we jumped in, we haven't introduced you guys yet. So would you like to introduce yourselves? I'm Emma, singer and guitarist. I'm Ali, I play guitar. I'm um, the last remaining AD on drums and backing vocals. Yes, because you you have a new bassist. We do. We do. He's very quiet. <laughs> yeah, he's shy. I think. Yeah. He's, yeah, bless him. Sat Unfortunately, he couldn't make it tonight. Saving lives. <laughs> it's fine with Phil. Oh. So uh, he is literally out there saving lives. Oh, wow. He's very cool, isn't he? <laughs> is that a sarcasm? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Sounded really sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. oh, cool, Bit of jealousy there. Cool. Yeah, he's really, he's really cool. <laughs> Do you want to try sorry, again? Sorry. But like, 
more, more enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> he's really cool. <laughs> Don't you just sound like Tony the Tiger? <laughs> he's he great. Tastes great. <laughs> He tastes great. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a conversation on the podcast. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <coughs> yes, we have a new bass player. Recently <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, joined. Yeah, we got one of those. He's glad he's not here now. <laughs> yeah, you probably. He likes the guys. Uh... <laughs> About this bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, like you just see tomorrow. We're looking for a new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Must be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Must be great. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> False hearts, now a three piece. <laughs> <laughs> we acquired one of those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just turned off one day. <laughs> the old yellow pages. Craigslist. Yeah. yeah. Have so, you ever been on Craigslist? I've never no. been on Craigslist. <laughs> it is weird. Like, <laughs> is it actually a thing? Yeah. What, I here? thought it was a myth. Yeah. If you go on Craigslist, like just Google Craigslist, go on to the job section, hmm. it is very, very oh. weird. Isn't it like... Is it like those little no, lads used to podcast. get in newspapers, like looking for yeah. women yeah. to star Knock in... <laughs> no, no, no. To, to... <laughs> well, I, I can see I why think... Ali went on Craigslist. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, you'll see about four ads for me on there. Just ignore those. <laughs> Is that why we only had two base uh, bases turn up? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did say the rest of the time you just going for. Yeah, that's why when we Man did that pre-screener, uh, pre-screener, um, <laughs> like <laughs> pre-screener. <laughs> did you do some? Oh. <laughs> So yeah, Should Ali's we... getting married at the start of next year. You should probably get that in as well. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have a shovel? It is hot. I'll, I'll be quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> I was well, say, this is most, most well actually, it's actually time for Ali's question. Yes. A special question, question that I wanted to just ask you okay. specifically. Uh, as we were talking about instrument swapping and, and that type of thing. Before yeah. we, <laughs> no, it's not. No, oh god. <laughs> no, you're hyping it up now. It's not going to be that good. Um, obviously, you like guitars. Yeah. And you, you have many. Yeah. Or you've had many. Yeah. Oh, lads. <laughs> How many guitars have you been through now since? <laughs> Since the band started. So you just see him on by himself. Yeah, because all I see on your Instagram <laughs> is, oh, look at this. Look what I have now. Yeah. This, this brand I've, new baby. I've, yeah. I've got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you have an like, addiction. I'm not, not going to change that one. Let's sit now. So you say, oh, I'm going to. Basically, how many times have you cleared out your wedding fund? Oh, yeah. Kit? I haven't touched that. <laughs> Good answer. No, I have like a very strict one in one out rule so. <laughs> okay what are we talking about again <laughs> guitars yeah oh was it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um <laughs> just killed that drama well, so it's a now two piece <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, okay. All good. I, I genuinely don't know have you guys lost count or uh, well, when I first started, I had the teddy, didn't I? I got rid of that pretty yeah. quickly. You had that. Well, at least three or four, yeah. Well, the, yeah. the thing is, what he does is he buys a new one off of a guy in a car park at the back of his car. <laughs> no, I sold. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, actually, I did buy that. Um, <laughs> you the, the black the, ESP that yeah. you've got. That was, yeah, that was yeah. a weird guitar transaction yeah. that was. Because I was selling, I had a. Gibson Les Paul um, that I was selling um, and then I also bought, wanted to buy an ESP off somebody and we managed to get it so the, the guy that was buying my Les Paul met me at the same car park that I was buying the <laughs> ESP <laughs> wow um, so like the, I said one in one out yeah, yeah the guy a turned like a proper <laughs> drug <laughs> deal <laughs> with so, guitars yeah the guy turned up to buy my Les Paul and at the same time as the guy and I was buying the ESP off came, wow. so it was really weird because I I gave my Les Paul across this guy. He gave me the money that I was then giving <laughs> to this other guy, and it was that must real, so dodgy. It was this real weird moment of like everybody looked at each other after it had happened. It's like, 
I don't know if we've all just ripped each other yeah. off. Or like, <laughs> like, you know, I'd be like, like well, how much are you paying yeah. for? Yeah, it was really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then they just did a deal after you left. Like, yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah. 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 But yeah, and then... Uh, I genuinely don't know. That's a good video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be on Crime Watch. Or <laughs> yeah. CSI Papworth. <laughs> <laughs> The most interesting thing to ever happen. Why just a random car bomb? <laughs> yeah. Services, Matt. Well, yeah. yeah what, if you, what if you got mugged? <laughs> yeah. Lost you didn't think this through. Yeah. yeah. Could have done. Could have done. Yeah. yeah that Don't was, do that, that again. No, no, no. <laughs> not without backup. Yeah. You're not allowed to sell any more guitars now. I can't sell the one that I'm trying to sell. <laughs> yeah. so. What do you do, quick ad? Yeah, yeah that was your chance to pitch it to everyone. <laughs> yeah. If anyone wants to buy an ESP, uh, an EC1000T, let me know. I'm asking how too much, much money for it at the moment. <laughs> money in fair words. Just in case the value goes up. <laughs> <laughs> <This> goes out. <laughs> nah. See, you're shifty. That's why people don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Must mean car park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, I'm so glad I asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a really, really nice sort of greeny blue one that you're gigging with at the minute. Yeah, I'm finally happy with my guitars. I've got two PRSs now. so. Mm. But you go through phases, don't you? You have like... That's my problem. Like, you started off with Gibsons, and then you suddenly like turned around and fell in love with ESPs and bought everything ESP, and now you're yeah, on now PRS. I've got PRSs, yeah. And you said when you had... ESPs, you're just like, I don't like PRSs. Because you're looking at Holostar's setup. <laughs> yeah. So like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not nah, for me. Yeah, and now me. look at and you. Then, and then, yeah. <laughs> I know. See what I do yeah. and just buy Phil's guitars when he's bored of them. And then he just cries because he watches somebody else play it. <laughs> yeah. That's the trouble I kind of like you know, go all in on something. Like, I'm all or nothing. Like, if. Mm. Like ESPs, is like, right, I'm buying all ESPs. Brought, <laughs> brought two ESPs because I was like, right, ESP is going to be my guitars. And then got rid of those. And... You're doing the same with amps now as well. He started oh, off, no, he yeah, started yeah, off with amps. orange and then he, his orange head broke. Yeah. So he got a Marshall. I've heard they do a lot. Yeah. And he got like a Marshall heads. set up. And you were absolutely in love with it for about a month, a few months. Now it's kind of half and half. I got yeah, <laughs> yeah half and half because Phil, uh, Fireman Phil's turned up with his massive big orange bass amp, and Emma's obviously got a combo as well. And now he's, he's like, suddenly oh. like, uh, yeah, I'll oh, play well. orange now. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll, I'll go back to orange. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for the endorsement. It's the ICD. Yeah. yeah, but I have heard that about orange heads being a bit. But mm-hmm. just in case they endorse us, we love them. They're yeah. great. I mean, the amps are fine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. S- sort your heads out. Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't look after it properly. That was probably. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe just people are a bit mm. reckless with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more questions for Ali? Yeah, yeah. More, yeah, more questions for Ali. Question no. two for Ali. <laughs> yeah. Am I getting invited to the wedding? <laughs> Am I kidding? Yeah, yeah. I need to sort the invites out. Yeah, you did. yeah we, we haven't even been invited mm. officially. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe actually. just keep it like family. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were family. We got the guitars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On yeah. the top table. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've got the band sorted, I guess. You know. Yeah. We're not playing, actually, are we? <laughs> I, don't know what, I still don't know what to do. I need to sort it out. Like, Have follow styles, dude. Yeah. They do weddings, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Cheap rate. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what to do whether to just go disco or, or disco. <laughs> no no he'll do your disco <laughs> country he'll bring these bad boys infused oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah get a country infused band mate yeah <laughs> country infused pop band yeah, yeah. And that's what you need mate <laughs> so let's talk about your brand new single or well, let's not <laughs> <laughs> no let's go back to Ali's question <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, sorry, yeah, new single. Yes, your new yes. single. Yes, which one? Break. Break, cool. Yes. Sorry, what do you mean, which one? <laughs> Where have you There's been? three other tracks on the EP other than That's Cynical Love. single. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, so break. <laughs> so break. You do talk to you, yeah, actually, I've decided. <laughs> okay, shut up. No, I yeah. thought it was a good thing. But... Yeah. <laughs> right, no. So Emma, yeah. Yeah, right. I don't know what to say. Do you, do you want me to read the... <laughs> read the poem we wrote? Yeah. Because yeah. I thought we might have this problem. <laughs> so you've obviously prepared yourselves with these little bio things about the songs mm-hmm. on the little PDF file I have. The press release. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Very official, by the way. Probably. Yeah. Thank you very much. Probably the nicest press release I've seen. Yeah. Mm, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get many of them. That is thanks to <laughs> SBCC, um, <clears throat> which is yeah, content writing from from here. He does he does a lot of favors for us and that uh, looks after our content, which is great. The stuff mm. that we're sending out. So yeah, that's why it looks so professional. Oh, because so. you didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm terrible Perfect. at stuff like that. That's why we outsource. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite that bad. I am. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. Okay, do you, do you want me to read it? Yes. Yeah. Read it okay. out? It's okay. Like story time. I'm rubbish at reading, so bear with me. I will not make it sound good. <laughs> do it in like a Peter Dixon voice. No, I can't. <laughs> I, I could get it. No, he can't read. <laughs> I mean, he has a better voice, but... Right. Who, who did this, by the way? Like, did did you guys write it together? We gave him the or? brief, and then and then Sam yeah. flesh out, Jazz and then we it, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, and then we kind of um, just go through it at the end and just sort of. Very basic, what I said, and he made it sound. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm going to read this out now. This this is for break, track one. This track explores the mind of an individual at breaking point, their emotions and vulnerabilities on full display. Highly personal yet, unf- unfortunately. Highly personal yet, yeah, unfortunately universal. I'm rubbish at reading. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I put myself on the spot? <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? This form of conflict is all too familiar and all too many, allowing each listener to relate in their own way from their own perspective. Well, we got yeah. there in the end, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it yeah. quite a heavy EP. I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, you know, it is addressing sort of mental awareness <clears> and <throat> mental issues, I suppose, that are quite relevant right now. But it is going from breaking point to the complete other side to cynical love, which is being in sort of utter control. So, yeah, yeah it wasn't intended to be, they weren't written to be on an EP together, but we felt it, it kind of almost told the story, which is why. Yeah, it's that's what I, Little Yeah, that's what I wanted to bring up is that these songs really do flow nicely in kind of a mm. a story way that you can sort of just follow them on nicely from each other and yeah, they just they just work really well together. And obviously like Take Control is the next song mm-hmm. yeah. after this one. Yeah. It literally jumps straight into the next chapter. Yeah. Yeah, in definitely. That sense. Yeah, it's showing the transitions and that, that you can go up and down quite easily or it's it's you kind of coming out of Adversity. rock bottom and, yeah, learning to take control and knowing that you need to do something about it. And, yeah, it's just... I think it works really nicely together, all those tracks. So I'm really proud of it. Yeah, because a lot of these songs are, are very new songs to an extent. Yeah. obviously, with your live set, there's so many other songs that you play mm. and often you mix it up, bring, bring back some of the old ones as well. Mm. But these are these are all very fairly new, to an extent. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had to take control. Um, we had for a while, which we wrote and didn't play it for a little mm. while, and then it, I think it was your gig in Danny's bar. Mm. Um, that yeah. was the first That's time we played it live. Um, yeah. And it had actually it was it was actually crazy. The I think we played it last or something, and it had such an impact. And everyone seemed to leave that gig saying that that was the song that really grabbed them, which yeah. was really really nice. Yeah. Because um, obviously, like, like you say, breaks pretty heavy and everything like that, and it fits really nicely in the set as it kind of calms down in the middle bit and then kind of finish on a high, um, mm. like take control. Really adds nice dynamics to the set as well. And, yeah, definitely. and that's the one that people, uh, like ever since then as well, all the gigs <coughs> we've had since then as well, they kind of tend to turn around to say, yeah, take control actually left me feeling really good. And, and yeah. Yeah, we were torn which one to release. Mm. But I think we kind of all decided on break. We thought it's just it's showing something else that we can do mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. but then we as it was coming up we were thinking yeah, oh what's the part going to like yeah. it but I think it yeah I've had so many compliments on it mm-hmm. I think I've said this to you before you you guys have too many good songs you need some more bad songs <laughs> 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 we've got plenty of them <laughs> <laughs> because even like some of the ones I liked and I'm like oh what's happened to this song and you're like oh we just Oh yeah, fight, other one... isn't it? You said, yeah, well, why yeah. don't you play fight anymore? Like, why don't you play that? It pops like... up every so often. <laughs> fight. Yeah. The last couple of times I've not heard it, and I've been like, oh. <laughs> but I think it's because it was it was part of your acoustic session, so I yeah. kind of have yeah, like, sure. a connection to that song because of that mm. performance. So mm. yeah, not the only one as well was on that one, which yeah. which is arguably my favourite of any of that we've we've done. Mm. Um, really? 
Yeah, I think yeah, I think the the lyrics and the story that tells is is yeah. really really nice. I know it's obviously not on the EP, so completely pointless to talk about it now. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but, but it yeah, could have been, couldn't it? Like, mm. it yeah, fit on the EP. Or... Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's that balance of like when you hear cynical love and how heavy that can be, mm. and then you go down to brave. I think it was very brave to put that last as well. Even though it's mm. like we said, we've been, it's been out for a while now, but I still think it's such a strong track to put it last on the EP. Obviously, shows how much faith you have in these other songs. Yeah, we want to them to those, hear those others first. Yeah, yeah. to put those ahead mm-hmm. of that, because a lot of bands would just be like, well, "Now nah, we need we need to put that first. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, it's quite surprising. That's but... what we debated as well. We're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. so you going to go first? It's going to go last. But yeah, but I like think, I said, I think yeah. it works best for the the flow of the yeah, yeah the flow yeah. and the yeah. story that it is last, mm. mm-hmm. and I think it, it works in a way where because it's last, you can just have it on repeat then. And yeah. you go back to track one again, mm. Mm. and it can work in that sense as well. Leaves you wanting a bit more because yeah, it's that definitely. heavy and a bit more upbeat. Yeah. Mm. So you don't mind if it flicks back to track one. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not like eject instantly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So let's talk about addicted to pain. Yeah, that's actually one of our older songs. Yeah, that's probably one of. Yeah. D- develop that and cynical most. love sort yeah. of you start yeah. playing those at the same time <clears throat> in your live set so we'd already done cynical love and then we went in to do break and take control together they're always going to be together um but possibly at that stage it was going to be a single and then we got some advice to say no i think next thing you need to do is an ep you need more music out there so we mm. were just thinking right what's there was a, a few other songs we were going to put on there but mm-hmm. in the end it was just it was Again, there was a bit more attitude in that song and it was like the guitar riffs and the bass lines to it. Just thought, And the story it tells, is that that's that's the song. And uh wasn't sure how it was going to go, but then when we went into the studio, he came out and said that was his favourite song. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's probably one of my favourites of the, okay. the newer crop of songs that you do oh. have. Yeah, so we don't hear much back about it. No. So. Yeah, especially in a live set, I think it's it's yeah. a great song to play live. And it's one that's oh, always nice. like stuck out for me since you guys have been playing it. And I, I honestly did think it would be your next single, that one. Okay. After okay. Cynical Love. But, yeah. That's the one I hear least about. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. When yeah, we're talking really to people about it, weren't we? Because we, we, weren't sure. we used to start with it first. And I think yeah. when we had it first for ages, um, I think it's like, as the sound guy like, tries to like get the final yeah, balance yeah, right yeah. and I think because it is quite a, it's a heavy yeah. upbeat song as well like you see yeah the, the crowd not exactly switching on some still at the bar and mm. um, and we're we're still obviously got, getting into the flow of it so it's a kind of like a like like yeah I don't know just, you just I don't think a I felt like a song but, yeah, yeah it kind of lost something being first so it moved it right back into the second half now yeah. and I think it has a lot more impact there for sure yeah, yeah. yeah definitely and we're a bit more warmer when we're playing it as well by that point Mm. Um, so yeah, it doesn't knack me out straight away, <laughs> and then I'm like, like screwed for the rest of the set. Like it's a bit further back. Yeah. So obviously, you guys, you went back to Valhalla Studios where you recorded Cynical Love yeah. last mm-hmm. year. Now, yep. obviously, you were very happy with how Cynical Love turned out. So that's probably why you went back. And Absolutely. it's not just the quality; it's his um, the fact that he he produces it mm. and. You know, even if it, you might have an idea, we might not like it, but in every time we do like the idea <laughs> yeah. and run with it, to the point where I'm like, you just write it, you know. Like, yeah. I even take control. We hadn't played that live. Yeah. We'd barely yeah. kind of developed it, and we thought, well, let's take this opportunity to take it to Dan. And it just, it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's that's... amazing now. Yeah, when you say about addicts to pain, like, that's probably developed the most throughout the time. It made such a huge leap when we took it to Dan. Like, it really, really mm. did. Yeah. That was probably the biggest one I noticed. So just what, to make him sound huge. Yeah, polished in. Yeah. But yeah. and uh, like, but not in a way that we're thinking, oh, we can't sound like that live. We mm. just sort of almost do better live to try and. Yeah. Yeah. And Dan yeah. kind of takes all of our songs as well, and will suggest like little things which makes a massive difference. Mm. As yeah. Well, doesn't he? Like. Yeah, yeah, it never seems to like massively change the the product that you do take there, mm. but obviously these subtle things that he does add in here and there yeah just adds to the overall sound of the track which obviously you wouldn't necessarily pick up on a live performance yeah but i think it's a great thing to do or have with a recorded track because it complements you live as well there are bands out there who've had recordings and it just doesn't live up to what they are like live 
Yeah. yeah. Whereas yeah, your yeah. tracks do, I find, oh, with the way he yeah. records them. And well, he knows, yeah, to highlight the, the right things, or the right strengths of the band and hmm. make sure that... And the stuff that once we've finished in the studio there, we go back and have a couple of practices to almost, not like relearn the song, uh, but kind of we try and then replicate it as a live yeah. product as well and kind of work out how we can get as close to the the, the recordings again and, and try and you know match up what he's done, uh, what he's added to the song. Uh, and kind of then obviously that boosts our live performances up as well and yeah. gives that um, gives that more as well, which is great. So let's talk about the name of the EP. So it is a line from Break, from the chorus. Ah, and yes, yes. I don't know really. We didn't when really we talk come about up it with it, lot, it was just like it just seemed to work. <laughs> work. I think someone just said, yeah, what about Daily Soul? And I thought, yeah, perfect. That's the mm. name because it kind of explains all the different personalities within that EP mm. that are exposed. Mm. So that was a, a time that Break would have been called Dirty Little Soul, but I called it Break instead, so that was a perfect EP title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if we called it Dirty Little Soul, the song, then the EP probably would have been called Break. So, yeah. 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 Well, that's very easy. <laughs> yeah. The EP is out on the 21st yeah. of September. This Friday. This, this Friday, yeah. yes. It's Friday. Yes. So it will be out by the time this comes out. Yeah. Because this will come out. Available next, next on Monday. all digital mm. platforms. <laughs> yep. Yes. Um, Hopefully. Sp- <laughs> Spotify this time. Yeah. Yeah. But it's only Cynical Love. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. our first EP didn't go digital. So. Ah, that's why I can't yeah. find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is our first digital EP release. Hmm. Do you still have physicals of the first one? Yeah, a few. Limited. limited. Li- yeah. Very limited. Very limited. Once they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> and then we'll do some more. And then they'll be gone <laughs> once we sell that. <laughs> Is that ever going to be digital or are you just going to keep it? Well, I think we, we want to remaster it maybe oh, okay. and get it digital. But yeah, mm. in a maybe few release time. Deluxe edition. Yeah. Be yeah. one of those bands. <laughs> or maybe take... Charge double. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that. But the, uh, yeah, it'd be quite nice to take some of those songs maybe later down the line to Valhalla and see... Yeah. And yeah. Re-record or slot them into other repeats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And kind of fit them yeah. in there and re- redo them. We really wanted nice. to put Do Dream On, but I thought we can't put two like singles on this EP that's already yeah. been out for ages. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'd love to do re-record Dream On. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would sound... Epic. Huge, yeah, yeah, definitely. Epic. Obviously, it's been literally another year. Obviously, you've probably got some new personal highlights from the band. Yeah, quite a lot though. I couldn't pick just one. <laughs> if you if you could try and pick one, <laughs> pick one each maybe. Oh, we we can pick one. Pick one. <laughs> pick, pick one. <laughs> pick please. One. I might just in general for especially the summer we've had has been incredible. The festivals that we've played. Yeah, you've played and, so many festivals. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's I love doing gigs and can't beat it. But the, I don't know, there's something about festivals that it's been outside. Oh, I just loved it. <laughs> the big stage and yeah, it's just a you sort of been there the whole weekend. So yeah, I think for me, Daxtonbury was a highlight. Yeah, Cambridge Rock Festivals. There's too uh, many. Yeah, Cam- Cambridge Rock <laughs> Festival was was a big one for me. I yeah. felt because the even though we had like a really early slot on the Sunday or well, 11 mm. o'clock which for people that have been heavily drunk about four hours earlier yeah. in the field next to it uh, trying to get them up and see us at 11 o'clock you, we, uh, to be fair we thought we were just going to be playing to an empty tent mm. we were a bit worried about that but honestly I mean, they were there but they were sort of leaning yeah. against <laughs> but, but generally like, with a coffee I was, sunglasses I was <laughs> so amazed at how many people were actually listening to us yeah. at that yeah. time it was, that was incredible and then the it was so nice to look out and the tent was just continuing to fill as we played because mm, yeah. that was an hour and ten minutes set. Oh wow! Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. And Jesus. Eleven a.m. Yeah, like eleven a.m. Wow. And nice. Yeah, to watch that fill up like as more people, you know, woke woke up and got to the bacon <laughs> van. <laughs> you literally woke up. Because it's them a up. big tent as well. Like, yeah, it's hard huge, to, yeah. To, it, yeah, it was, it was packed for yeah. that time. And to see some people even singing our words back, yeah. that always yeah, gets me. I'm like, oh my god! There is no better. The there's no better feeling than someone yeah. singing the song, your own original song back to yeah. you. That's yeah. the best feeling in the world. I think for me, it was probably recording the EP. To be honest, like okay. getting, getting those tracks back and mm. hearing, you know, the yeah. sort of live coming. So that was that was super super yeah. satisfying moment this year for us. Yeah. 
how many times have you listened to it now? Enough times to be sick of it. I think. <laughs> I can't, yeah, Cynical Love, I'm still yeah, quite listen to that. Yeah, Cynical Love, as soon as I hear that. But it's fine live, I love playing it live. Yeah, when it's on the yeah, car, no, but it's great. Yeah, yeah it's, like a, it's like a different beast live, isn't it? But when yeah. you are just listening back and back to the same songs. It, and it's not even out yet. <laughs> no, yeah. And that's, that's the thing we, we always we, we found, isn't it? When, when we did Cynical Love, we'd heard it. Because we, we'd got the mastered version back, you know, mm-hmm. a good few months before we released it, and we'd, we'd listened to it to death. And then, yeah. same so, with this EP, we've listened to it to death, and we're kind of we're releasing a new EP, but we're, we're thinking about the next one now. Yeah. We wanna, we're like, we no one's going to be like, excited right. about this. They've heard, they're like, no, they haven't heard it. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, no yeah. Heard it. <laughs> well, with Cynical Love, we heard all the editions as it was getting mastered and, and mixed and everything like that. So we were listening to it constantly then. Yeah. And then we did the music video for it, and you listened to it like a million times oh, yeah. going back oh, through yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is that why you just did a lyric video at this time? Well, even <laughs> even then, I felt really bad because I mean, Ali must have listened to the to yeah. break like a million times. Oh, did you do that? I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No nice. idea what I was doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> did such a good job though. It's, it, yeah. It, yeah, it's yeah. It's something that I've thought about getting into, but mm. my spelling is atrocious, and <laughs> I'd have to job. listen to it like another thousand times mm. for the spelling. <laughs> like not yeah. even just the music. Yeah, yeah. Just. Yeah. <laughs> It would be my worst nightmare actually doing that. So, yeah. Well, yeah, the amount of times I did it, no, it's a spelling mistake. Oh, after my I God. I yeah. finished it. And... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we did intend to do uh, yeah. another music video ourselves, but we just sort of run out of time and location. So, none of you can notice on the YouTube, there is some footage in the background yeah. of what we have filmed, yeah. which yeah, I think yeah, I, I think that's enough for it, though. You know, mm. yeah. People yeah. might actually like want to see. Yeah, the words so, as long and... as you have like some movement in, yeah. in those YouTube kind of videos with lyric videos and things I think mm. that's perfectly acceptable and which which yeah. is nice because then you don't feel like you have to splash out on extravagant yeah. music yeah. videos or feel this need to have something for mm. every single day. yeah and you say you like it's just really nice seeing people sing back the songs to us lyric mm. videos are only going to help that aren't they yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly that, that yeah. and I had a couple of people as soon as that lyric video came out a couple of people are like I've been singing that song wrong for ages. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the line is? Yes. <laughs> so it kind of helps in that sense, which is I want to know what they're thinking. Yeah, said. yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again, that's that's another question I wanted to answer. You obviously don't have to name names or anything. What is the weirdest things people say to you at the end of gigs? Weird compliments, maybe. or The weird compliment we got recently <laughs> was... Uh... Oh, God, yeah. I know what you're saying. <laughs> which one was that? <laughs> country infused rock. Yeah. Oh, we got we got described as country infused pop punk. Pop punk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <you laughs> that. Yeah. That's yeah, about I'm as like, far from what we thought. Yeah. That, was, that wasn't the aim. We were like, we need to reassess ourselves. <laughs> like, wow, well, we we can add ourselves into different playlists here. Yeah. Genre is very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New chart entry in the country. <laughs> <laughs> False hearts with cynical love. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was a weird one. Yeah. I love the one at uh, Mama Liz's as well uh, in Stamford where we just got off stage and we weren't really sure how people like <laughs> we, we took, took yeah. to it and they just heard like a couple that we'd, they'd never seen us before and go yeah they weren't actually that bad yeah, <laughs> and yeah, you know what like we came yeah. off stage like yeah I'll take that yeah. <laughs> actually yeah, yeah. that was alright alright yeah, all right. <laughs> at that point okay. that was still fairly new in, in sort of gigging at the yeah. time and you know like oh, and, and everyone like all family and friends like oh my god it's amazing like every single time which obviously yeah, yeah, we yeah. absolutely love yeah. Yeah. but it's kind of like it's not honest though is, is it is it <laughs> or like <laughs> you know they're like mm, after the yeah. fifth time it's like uh, oh yeah. no my mom turns around like well I didn't like that <laughs> <laughs> you, you dropped your stick then <laughs> yeah. no yeah she, she's brutal now but um, but yeah but at that she point is. but at that point it was generally like everyone was just like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So to hear that, it was kind of like from someone that has never seen us before, has no connection with us. I didn't mm. know we were we could hit them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, and to say that, that was that's a really nice feeling because yeah, that's not terrible. Yeah, yeah. No, not terrible, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Put that as an EP review. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah there we go. We were right. Expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reliably average. Yeah. <laughs> Who are those again? <laughs> <laughs> probably time to get your phone out and do tour dates Uh, yes you have quite a few so we're kind of doing a crazy cowboy mini tour so the first gig after the release on saturday 22nd we're playing reading crazy cowboy festival 2 in reading which would have already gone by the time this goes out 
So it was great in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you were all right. Yeah. yeah. So we were yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> and then on the 12th of October, we're up near Reading again in Basingstoke at the Bramley Inn playing with Gorilla Riot, who are also have played Crazy Cowboy Festival 2. Mm. But we played with them in Birmingham. In when Asylum was that? 2, wasn't it? April? Uh, yeah, about that. And for us, for me anyway, they were just, they just stole the show. I thought they're they were incredible. absolutely incredible. These yeah. voice and really nice guys. So I'm really excited to be playing with them again. They're very cool, aren't they? Yeah. Like, oh, they're a, they're cool a great. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say that? And then, yeah, we'll sort of finish that at Bedford Esquires, hopefully at the end of October, to be confirmed. And then after London in November at the Carton Horses, which is the home of Iron Maiden. Quite oh. happy about that one. And then the big one for us, the hometown gig, 7th of December, Portland Arms, with Janani and Fourth Labyrinth. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you missed Dan's one out in the middle. His. Oh, the yeah. newly just, announced just one. Added. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just yeah. added. It's not on my shoot paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's that, literally. They say nice. Bedford Squires. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. But yeah, that's the, on the fifteenth of November. November. Yeah. yeah. So back yeah. at Bedford. But yeah. Yes. But then yeah, the seventh of December at Portland Arms. Um, that's going to be that's like actually sort of put our on. end of our tour kind of thing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's been put on by our content writer. Uh. So SBCC. Um, and yeah, he's got Jin Annie who have just come by that point would have just come off a Planet Rock tour mm. or some dates with Planet Rock, uh, yeah. and then they're going straight off to to do that gig, and we're main support with Fourth Lab opening, um, so that should be a really yeah. great, really yeah. great night. That's going to be huge. And then we just got our Christmas show, well, sort of Christmas show in December, at the Half Moon in Bishop Stortford, another venue we've never played at. So. Yeah, you guys have mm. yeah. literally played them all now. Mm. I yeah. Think. It's, it's good to try and get out of it. It's like I appreciate how busy we are in Cambridge, but we can't just be playing in Cambridge. No, we need to start no. kind of expanding. And so it was, yeah, it's great that we've managed to get this sort of pull this together just in time for the EP, kind of branch out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And that's that's obviously testament to your live performances. And, yeah, you know. and without being able to kind of submit loads of tracks to these places, we had one track online. Yeah, now. yeah, and if that can do it, yeah, <laughs> so hopefully. Even more will come. And you can from. be like, oh, look how much views our acoustic <laughs> session's got as well. <laughs> we can do everything. <laughs> so yeah, we we should probably plug that as well. It it technically is the still most played video on this channel. Uh, your acoustic session you did. Yes. Yes. Was it was it two years ago now? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, it must be nearly, nearly two, two years, years ago. It was the day I moved house. That was when we did that. So, oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> cool story, bro. No, <laughs> you obviously no, weren't yeah. moving house. Yeah. No, <laughs> right, right, so, I've done it. So, I've been there, while Liv moved your house, <laughs> <laughs> other fiancés are available. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the um, yeah, you were in in the studio with us, yeah. doing that live session. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Commitment. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And ironically, I was really ill that day as well. You were. Yeah. It's something about us. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, luckily, I'm better today, but that day we recorded that. Man. Yeah, you looked rough. No, I, <laughs> I did. I did. I was, I think, 24 hours before that, I was like, can I still do this? Yeah. Will I be able to stand? I don't mm. know. <laughs> I think I had, like, food poisoning or something. Yeah, I think yeah. I remember it was yeah. some yeah. kind of bug. Yeah. I ate a dodgy burger. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's this Friday. Yeah, Long time good. coming. We mm. said, oh, April, yeah. April, no, July, June. No. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. I'll get the September done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think September's like a good month for, for releases. It's after summer yeah. festival season zone. Yeah. yeah I think but you can see like Lumley and Oscar are both released yeah. last week. We yeah. nearly yeah. released last week, yeah. last yeah. Friday. I'm glad we changed it, really. And we've also, yeah, just remember, we've got uh, physical copies of the EP, um, which we'll be selling at gigs and online. Yes. Um, yeah available um yeah website is coming really soon new website which is great and uh and we've also got ep artwork t-shirts yeah uh, to yeah. go with that as well which is going to be great so uh, to go with obviously the logo t-shirts we've got before as well they're still available all right so i'll give you a choice of two questions depending <coughs> on what you want to go with so we can either do another rumor about false hearts or we can do guilty pleasures again. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> but you guys probably don't want to do that. One. <laughs> no, or you could like have different questions each, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do Ali's. Do some more Ali questions. 
Yeah, maybe well, Ali's, Ali's, Ali's guilty, guilty pleasures. pleasures. My guilty pleasure. Yeah, this is music, by the way. We don't want to go I down that hole yeah, right. again. <laughs> I don't know. Young guns. That's not a guilty pleasure. That is a, <laughs> is a full-on pleasure. Are they still going? <laughs> Ask him, mate. Yeah. Like, I'm actually quite concerned <laughs> about the state yeah. of young guns at the moment because <laughs> they haven't Man. messaged him in a week. <laughs> <laughs> No, I saw them in like 2006 with like Funeral for a Friend. Like, I yeah. think they just started then. Yeah, well, they released the album a couple of years ago. Mm. And then uh, I think they did a tour in September of 2017, but they haven't literally been on their social media since. So Shit. Uh-uh. it's worrying wow. times. <laughs> because yeah, if they split well. off, I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Like, We'll find him in the corner of his like, music room. Yeah. He'll be in the fetal position, just rocking back and yeah. forward. But my, my yeah. young gun, signed Young Guns poster has got... Five <laughs> you have actually got a signed poster? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's at the top of my stairs. It's the first thing you see as you walk up the stairs. Wow. Is, is he must really poster. like them. Then. He might like, really yeah. like them. Yeah. 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 It's fiance, not so much. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, how should how should we do this, guys? Well, Young Guns did it this way. Like, <laughs> what, what would Young Guns do? <laughs> that, 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 is that, is that is my first thought process. So, yeah, that's not a guilty pleasure. <laughs> All right, sorry. I'm offended that you said that's not a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I just wanted to get it in the interview somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to listen to Young Guns now. Okay, what yeah. what song would you recommend I listen to? Because I literally haven't listened to them in oh, a decade. My favourite song of theirs is Rising Up, which is a proper... That's like their most popular one, though, isn't it? I think. No, I'd say Bones is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah listen, to, that listen to Rising Up. That's okay. got a massive... I'll, I'll listen to that on my own. Which I think i play out. every practice. <laughs> oh, is that that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one that we keep on going, is that a new song? Yeah, uh, no, it's Young Guns. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would it be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah. But that's not even your guilty pleasure. So, what yeah. is your guilty pleasure? I tell you what. I tell you what is pretty bad. You know, Eminem released Kamikaze. Yeah, he's released like and a dump load of songs at the moment. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he dissed some rapper called Machine Gun Kelly. Kelly yeah, he mm. did a response video. I mean, he looks like a complete plonker, but I can't stop listening to that song. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'll probably say that's that's probably my guilty pleasure. That kill shot. I can't no, imagine. No, that's Eminem's response to oh. that, which is even better. So oh, I've been listening wow. to I've been listening to a bit of rap right. recently. Which rap is wars in twenty eighteen. Yeah. Wow, it's the early two thousands all over again. <laughs> yeah. That's and you're listening to gangster rap. Yeah. There you go. And young guns. Yeah. You are. I've got a pretty broad. <laughs> next yeah. next thing you know, you're just gonna like, drop some ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I've got this uh, rap idea. <laughs> It's like, and he's like, I want to do some backing vocals, and then start like, <laughs> rapping over the end of break. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that wouldn't be embarrassing, would it? Wow. This, this is incredible. Watch this space. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what about your guilty pleasures? I have none. <laughs> they, wow. None. none. <laughs> they all got a completely Denied. exposed last time. They did. So I, I don't think you've lived them down. Not since. No. no. I think it's been two years. I generally yeah. think. Backstreet Boys has come up in every single interview we've done, <laughs> minus the one we've literally <laughs> just done last Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yeah for the last past two years, and <laughs> now we walk straight back in here, and it's straight back in again. Yeah. <laughs> and that will for the next two There's years as well. Backstreet's back, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, don't even like them that much anymore. <laughs> anymore. Anymore. My bridge or guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's not even a pleasure now, it's just no. guilty. <laughs> but yeah, other than that and what would Elton John do, I think yeah. I'm pretty covered, mate. Yeah. What would Elton John do? What would young guns do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would do it the right way. <laughs> Elton John would just cover it in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't say that because I always send these guys a picture of glittery Mate. guitars. Going, yeah, I was going to say, you would end up with a Purple glittery, glittery guitar. Yeah, yeah, I genuinely want that guitar. I found this um, sparkly purple guitar. It mm. looks amazing. But these guys said it's not rock and roll enough. Oh, the reason why he thinks... You'd have to be like really rock and roll to pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why he thinks our new bassist is so good is because he had uh, on our WhatsApp chat for the band... He spent, what, about three hours, the two of you, sending photos of each other's guitars. Yeah. And I just, I remember, <laughs> I, mi- I, I was probably having, just getting these notifications. I was having dinner for like <laughs> half an hour, looked back, 129 notifications. Wow. 
Oh, so ridiculous. It's great though because I think Phil's as bad as me for buying the guitars. And stuff, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I think we're both yeah, like, just gear like horse. I had a few drinks and I ended up buying a bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which bodes well for us. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not his financial stability, but <laughs> us. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guitar fetish. <laughs> did did we even play the play the song earlier, or did we? Just no, talk we haven't. About it? We haven't even played anything yet. Wow, probably should play a song. <laughs> well, no, go do Emma's guilty pleasure first. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm, if I, I, I can't even remember you... anyone else's because all that I remember is yours <laughs> <laughs> from two years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I think I said this last time, but I, do, I love a bit of ABBA. And Robbie of Williams. All, oh, Robbie, yeah, that's not guilty, though. They, they always come up. They're like yeah. everyone's guilty pleasure, I think. ABBA mm. and Robbie Williams. Mm. Just, I don't they know. are like mentioned so stuff, much. I'm not an ABBA fan. Like stuff that you just get into your head because they're always on the radio. Yeah. But I quite like is Portugal the Man. I quite like Yeah, they're that. really good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, um, yeah some are guilty pleasure. But yeah, Robbie, all the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was great. He's, he's, yeah, he was. He's yeah. done some weird stuff since. Yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah, we should probably play a track because we've done yeah. a lot of talking, <laughs> which is good. On a, on a podcast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah talking so. on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do like. <laughs> Before you... and after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to do like. What my answers. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to like do a video of us listening back to that original <laughs> no, a response no. video yeah yes. we'll have to do yeah, that yeah, because be even I will probably sound shit because you were like probably like my sixth podcast and yeah, you were we like the enjoy. first person that we spoke about the band to yeah, yeah. so outside of family and friends well, I'd only known you two for like six weeks <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. asking us these questions I'm probably like I don't even know these guys <laughs> I think we have but to do that. But you're still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'd only been a band for like yeah. a month or something as well back mm. then. So we'll switch instruments yeah. and then we'll watch back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll yeah. we'll have a good laugh. We'll drink some yeah. Good, yeah. and do that. I'm guessing you'd want to play the new single. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all right. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I just play some gangster rap instead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's about that ludicrous rap. Yeah. Do you hear my nice rap? <laughs> what would Young Guns do? <laughs> they would right they play their track now? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is your brand new single, which should be out everywhere by now. You can mm-hmm. buy it on iTunes, you can stream on Spotify. This track's called Break. <laughs>
right, guys. I think we shall leave it there for now. We'll plan some other things. <laughs> uh, we'll bring our bassist next time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bring him. Yeah, thanks so much for having us in. Yeah. yeah, thank you for coming back. It's always nice to catch up with you guys. Likewise. Yeah, likewise. Yes. And where can everyone follow you on social media? Uh, Facebook and Twitter. Facebook at False Hearts Official. Twitter at False Heart Badge. You can also check us out on Instagram. And yeah, we'll have, well, by the time this is out, we should have a brand new website launch, falsehearts.com. We can see latest news, videos, and some of our lovely merch. And you can follow Local Distortion on Instagram, Twitter. We do like daily posts on there. Facebook, obviously. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go back and watch all the other False Hearts videos we've got on here. Um, They're I think great. We, yeah, I think we've got a False Hearts playlist. Yes. So they'll all be in a playlist. So just type in Local Distortion False Hearts, it will come up. We also have a Mixed Cloud playlist podcast now, which is weekly, every Wednesday. New music on there. We've got t-shirts as well. I think that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.